break my soul in two Looking for you but you're right here If I can't relate to you Any more than who am I related to And I'm sitting on a bench in Coney Island Wondering where did my baby go Lost again with no surprises Disappointed Close your eyes and it gets colder and colder When the sun goes down When I walked up to the podium I think that I forgot to say your name Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nina. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. So happy that you're here. Today it is very gloomy outside and it's gonna rain all this next week. And so today we are learning Coney Island. I've tried to film this video before and I just like, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So here we are again, um, filming it again. And this song gives me very like gloomy, stormy weather type of vibes, so maybe it's a sign. This song is honestly kind of a little bit difficult if you want to play like the little riff in the beginning. I will be trying to teach a beginner version of that riff, but if you want to learn the full like official riff, you could go check out another tutorial that I found. I'll link him in the description box, but some other guy teaches like the full riff. So if you want the more advanced version, you could check that one out but I'm just gonna be trying to like bring it down a little bit so that if you're a beginner you can kind of learn a little bit of that. Before we get into the video if you want to see all my other Evermore tutorials I have created a full playlist up here you can click on that and if you want to see the tab that I wrote for this song you can click the link in the description box it'll take you to my website where you can print the PDF or download it so you can play along with me. Also I have something fun to show you guys so I have a couple Swifty friends and one of my friends that I met from Tumblr has an Etsy shop where she sells some Taylor Swift stickers. So I kind of wanted to shout her out. Here's some of the stickers that I got from her. Here's a folklore sticker. I got this sticker. It says, I think he knows. And then she gave me a butterfly sticker. And I think she has some Evermore stickers coming out. So that's fun. So go check her out. Her Etsy shop name is Kate Creative Co. So go visit her Etsy shop. I'll put the link in the description box down below. Yeah, go support fellow Swifties, fellow small businesses in these times, so they're great. So yeah, go do that. Okay, so this song has the capo on the sixth fret, which is a little bit high, but it sounds the most accurate to the song with the little like intro part. Okay, so let's go over the chords that you're gonna need for this song. The chords you're gonna need to know are D, G, A, B minor, and F sharp minor. Now for the B minor and the F sharp minor, I'm gonna show you a couple ways you can do those chords. Those are technically bar chords, but you know me, I don't like bar chords, and so there's a couple cheater ways I'm gonna teach you how to play these ones, so it won't be that hard. For this song, there's two ways you could do the strumming. You could do down strumming, which is what I like to do, just because it sounds the most similar to the rhythm of the song, I would say. So you could do the down strumming, which kind of sounds like this. Or you can do more of a slower, more mellow strumming pattern that's kind of like this. It's um, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. It kind of slows down the song a little bit if you do that one. So for the intro for this song, the chords are going to be D, G, A, B minor, G. And you can strum this part or you can do the little riff thing that I'm going to teach you. But if you just want to do the strumming, it's just going to be two measures per chord. And then on the B minor and the G, those get one measure. So it's going to sound like this if you're just doing the strumming. So it's D. G. A. And then B 
minor. For the B minor, you can play the cheater way, which is what I usually do this way. But for this song, there's another way you could play B minor, and it's more of a B minor 7. And what you're going to do is put your first and second finger on the top two strings of the second fret, and then your third finger is going to go on the third string, and then your pinky is going to go on the very first string. So it's going to sound like that. And this is the one that sounds most accurate to the song. So it sounds like this. And then you go back to G in that intro. So B minor 7, or you can just do the regular cheater B minor chord. And so that's the full intro. You're just going to do each of those chords one time through that chord progression, and then it's going to go to the verse. But let me teach you the little riff first. Basically, you're going to follow the same picking pattern for all four of these chords. Now, this isn't the exact way to do it, but this is the like beginner easy way that sounds similar to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to be on D, and you're going to pluck four, three, one, and then you're going to go back again and do four, three, and then you're going to lift off your second finger off of the first string and then pluck that. One, and then you're going to go to two. So, four, three, one, four, three, take your finger off, one, two. So a little bit faster, it's going to sound like this. And that's kind of like the riff for the whole intro part. So I'll do it full speed this time just so you can see what it sounds like once you do it fast. And then you're gonna go to G. And for this one, it's gonna be a weird G chord because you have to keep the picking the same. So what you can do is do G like this and you have your uh, second finger on the bass note of the G, but your first finger is gonna be all the way down on the first string to keep that together. And then your third finger is going to be on the second string on the third fret, kind of like a normal, what you would do for a normal G. The only thing that's different is that your first finger is gonna be on the first string. So for this one, instead of playing the fourth string, you're gonna play the sixth string. So we've got six, three, one, and then six, three, and then you take your finger off of the first string. One, two. So it's basically the same thing, just a different chord. So six, three, one, six, three, one, two. So how that's gonna sound is like this. And then you're gonna go to A, and for this A, it's gonna be a little bit different if you're doing the riff again, kinda like the G chord, because you wanna keep that high um, note right there. So we're gonna play A like this. You're gonna s put your third finger on the first string instead of the second string, and then you are going to put your pinky on the second string, on the third fret. So. I hope you can see what this looks like. So one, two, and then you put your pinky on the second string on the third fret, and then your first finger is on the first string second fret. So for this one, you're going to do four, three, one, four, three, and then you take your finger off once again, one, two. So. And so a little bit faster that's gonna be. And then you're gonna go to B minor. So for the B minor in the intro with the beginner riff, I would do this one so you don't have to move your fingers as much as you would if you were gonna do this, the B minor seven. So you're just gonna do the normal cheater B minor chord and then you're gonna play the same exact string. So four, three, one, four, three, and then take your first finger off, one, two. And then you're gonna go to G and do that same one for the G again, so.
And that is the whole riff part. So you don't have to play that. You can just do the down strumming or you could do something like Just kind of do a hammer on and pull off like strumming. You don't have to do the picking. But yeah, let me just do that little riff part really quick and then we will move on to the verse. So. And the other thing with the riff, so at the last part, you're only going to do the picking pattern once for B minor and once for G. So those two chords at the end of that chord progression only get one measure, one go through. I hope this makes sense. So that's the beginner riff. I learned that very quickly. I, I don't have it mastered yet, but um, that's basically how I would play it. Isn't this mug so cute? Okay, moving on. We are going on to verse 1, and the verses are the same exact chord progression as the intro. So we've got D, G, A, B minor, G, and in the same way, the B minor and the G only get one measure, or a half a measure. They just get half as much time as the other ones. <laughs> For this part, I'm going to do the down strumming, and then I'll show you with the other strumming pattern I told you guys. So, And for the verses and the chorus, I do like to do the B7, um, but if you can't do that, then just keep doing the regular B minor. It's interchangeable. Break my soul in two, looking for you, but you're right here. I can't relate to you any more than who am I related to. And then it goes one more time, so you're gonna do that chord progression twice, and now I will do the other strumming pattern, so you can kind of see how that sounds, and then decide which one you like better. So, we're on D. This is a long haul, how we get here so soon. Did I close my fist around something delicate? Did I shatter? goes into the pre-chorus so you can decide that one obviously sounds a little bit more relaxed and slower so if you're a beginner you can do that one but if you want to do the just the down strumming that's cool too and now we move on to the pre-chorus and the chorus and for both of these the chord progression is going to be B minor G D F sharp minor G A and now for F sharp minor, there is a couple ways you can do this. I think the actual chord looks like this, maybe? I don't know, something like that. But how I play it, you can play it like this, which is, I don't really know what kind of chord this is, but you can play it like that, or you can play it like this, which is probably the way I'm gonna play it. I'll put the chord charts right here. And then the last way is if you just bar the first three strings on the second fret. This is how I used to play it as a very beginner, just because it was the easiest, or you can just put all three of your fingers, you don't have to bar it. It sounds, it, they all work. Some sound better than others. I will be playing it this way. So for this part, the strumming is going to be the same. For beginner's sake, I'm going to do the slower strumming pattern, so not the down strumming, because I think that'll be easier for you guys if you are a beginner. And another thing to note is that each chord is gonna get one kind of measure, like one strumming pattern technically, except for the D, which you're gonna play for like two measures before it switches to the F sharp minor. I'll just show you. So we've got B minor. I'm sitting on a bench in Coney Island Wondering where did my baby go The fast times, the bright lights, the miracle Sorry for not making you my centerfold Over and over And then it goes into kind of like a chorus Guys, I like really like this song It's like my top three now I never skip it it is such a vibe. Like, I just love that hook, like sitting on a bench in Coney Island. Oh, amazing. 
Okay, so the chorus is gonna be the same exact thing as the pre-chorus. You're just gonna do it again. So I'll do that part. Over and over, lost again with no surprises. Disappointment, close your eyes and it gets colder. So you see on that part when it says colder and colder, you're gonna stay on the G for an extra measure, like more than the, the pre-chorus, so. Colder and colder when the sun goes down. Same thing with the A. And then it's gonna have a little like instrumental before verse two. And this little instrumental is just going to be a measure of B minor and a measure of G. And then you're gonna go into verse two, which is the same as verse one. So we know that already. And the next pre-chorus is the same and the next chorus is the same, obviously. And then we get to the bridge and the bridge is going to be the same chords as the chorus. So we've got B minor, G, D, F sharp minor, G, A. And you're going to do that twice for the bridge. So I will play a little bit of that. So we've got, um, let's go from the second chorus because it goes straight into the bridge. So we've got colder and colder when the sun goes down. We are waiting at a world spot in the tree line by the gold clock that I leave you in. Standing in the hallway with a big cake Happy birthday to an angel blue skies The darkest gray, the universe Okay, so you're gonna play B minor and G And then you're gonna stay on D for two measures like we did before And then we have F sharp minor G And then you're gonna stay on the A um, When it says, did I paint your bluest skies the darkest gray And then you go into B minor again Guys, I just wanna say, this bridge if nobody knew already, it's a reflection of all of her old relationships. Like, there's parallels. There's so many parallels. When he was standing in the hallway with the cake, like, happy birthday, like, Jake Gyllenhaal didn't go to her birthday party. And then it says, did I paint your bluest skies the darkest gray? Like, hello, John Mayer, you paint me a blue sky, then turn it to gray. And then he got into the accident. Harry Styles got into an accident. And then when she walked up to the podium, she forgot to say his name. Hashtag Calvin. Harris because she won the Grammy it didn't say anything about him I think that's what it's about so this song is about mourning past relationships anyways moving on so I'll do the end of that part so we've got a universe away and when I got into the accident the sight that flashed before me was your face but when I walked up to the podium I think Say your name. For that part, I like to single strum it, you know, because dramatic effect, of course. I'm on a bench in Coney Island. What a good song. So you're gonna do the same chord progression for the pre-chorus, chorus again, and then they have a little outro. So after it says, when the sun goes down, it repeats the line. When it says, when the sun goes down, and then that starts the outro. For the outro, it's gonna be the same chord progression twice. So I'll just play that for you. So we've got, sun goes down, sun goes down. The flash before me was your face when the sun goes down. <laughs> I think that I forgot to say your name over and over. Sorry for not making you mine, making you mine, making you mine. Centerfold. And that is the end of the song. I think it fades out actually, but you would just keep playing that until you want to end the song, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, I avoided doing this song for a while because I wanted to do it right and I didn't want people <laughs> to like come at me. Yeah, this is a good like beginner version of this song, so I hope you guys liked it. Please give this video a like if 
you liked it and um, it helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications because you don't want to miss when I post a tutorial. It'd be so sad. So leave a comment down below. Song requests. I'm always keeping a running list. And if you want a full play along sing along of this song, I post those on my music channel. So go click the link up here in the description box below. I will sing the full song full speed with all of the chords and strumming pattern on the screen for you to play along with me and it's a fun time. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!